Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Guess what today is? Today is my four year anniversary on YouTube. Welcome everybody, subscribers and new viewers. I am so happy and grateful to be part of the YouTube community. Today I'm doing a video called What Cheap and Frugal Living Looks Like Four Years Later because I've changed a lot in four years. So I'm outside right now. The first thing I wanna talk about is our vehicle. Last time when I did this, via, or this video, we had this vehicle. It's a 2014 Toyota Corolla. It is still going strong. The reason why is we take good care of it and maintain it. We have oh, no payments on it, and so that's one way that our family is frugal. Another thing is home maintenance. So follow me over here. We had foundation work done that was needed. I live in the Dallas, Texas area, and you know that we have dry ground here. We are on a slab and our foundation can, was shifting and it was because of a crepe myrtle and I will show that to you in a moment. But follow me over to the crepe myrtle. As you can see, it is over in the corner. It's a beautiful tree, but guess what? It was helping, it was hurting my foundation. I found that out. So in the springtime, what I will be doing is getting that great myrtle, or before spring, taken down. And that way, it will not be hurting our foundation anymore. So I need to wait till the foliage falls off it. But I got foundation work done, and that is to help our home, because living in this home, we want to make sure that anything that's a need is taken care of. So foundation work was done and now we'll be getting that tree removed and why is that frugal because it's taking care of the house that we have because I will probably be living here until the end of time so I'll see you in a few moments inside and let me show you around the house hello everyone back with you as you can see I'm in the laundry room when I did this video four years ago I had the same washer and dryer they're Maytag they're over 25 years old and still going strong and I just take really good care of them. And so we're planning on keeping them until we no longer need to. So that is one frugal thing. Now I used to think being frugal was not buying things for yourself. Well, I've changed a lot in four years. Let me tell you briefly how I used to waste money. I used to waste money by what they call death by a thousand cuts, tons of auto ships and things. What I've done in the last four years to improve is I've significantly lowered our monthly bills by about a thousand to twelve hundred a month by not having these auto ships going and so I keep our monthly bills low and so that saves a lot of money and there are things that our family needs and wants and what I do is I keep a list of those things those items and I prioritize what is the most important for example our furniture was getting to be kind of shoddy so I did get a new sofa and love seat and guess what it's already paid for I really love them and they're really comfortable also over here I have a sleeper sofa that I bought from somebody used it's an excellent condition so if somebody comes over if they want to they can use that and so yes I do buy things for myself but I do try to pay cash sometimes I do six months no interest and pay it off same as cash and that's okay too but I do keep money in my savings as well now follow me over by my computer as you, many of you know who know me, I work from home. I schedule mystery shopping. So I have a newer computer and an older computer. I do like Hewler Packard. That is a really good brand. For example, my printer I think is like 15 years old and they still go strong. So I know a lot of people don't believe in warranties. For me, a warranty has always been good. I also do have maintenance. That's my biggest thing for me. I know maintenance can be costly at times, but for me, it's been worth it to have maintenance on vehicles, also uh, your different uh, your appliances that you might have at home. And I do keep warranties and maintenance because in the long run for me, it extends the life of that. And also, it just make, it makes my items last longer, and I think it's a good use of our money. So I'll just say that. So I keep these items maintained. Another thing is I have a smartphone in my pocket here and I use this to make money. I do product demonstrations on weekends. Because of that, I have a app on my phone that I have to enter my paperwork on. Well, this is very useful because it helps me to earn money. I put forever, I put this off forever getting a smartphone. And guess what? Having one has helped me a lot. 
It also saves me money because I don't purchase books. I go and I, instead of going to the library, I have a Libby app on my phone. I take out all the books I want. And if there's a book that I absolutely love that's a keepsake, guess what? I can always purchase it if I really want to, but I just take them out on my Libby app. That way I don't keep buying more books into this house. Another way that I save money is I used to buy tons of cookbooks. Now instead, I refer to wonderful YouTube or Pinterest or things to get recipes, or I just utilize the recipes that I already have. Speaking of food, I've been batch cooking and meal prepping. We barely go out to eat. That saves a lot, and I've been making so much food that I've been taking portions of it and freezing it, and I make sure to label it with the date, but I made some homemade cookies, and I made some homemade pumpkin bread, and in the refrigerator, I have some chili, and also I made um, a sausage bake. I also sometimes will make up a salad and different types of things like that, so I keep plenty of food so that we don't have to say, gee, there's nothing to eat, or we have to prepare it. I do this a little bit each day, or I might take one whole day and do it. So follow me into the kitchen. Now, I am not saying I'm the most frugal person, but I'm a big believer in personal finance. Because I spend a lot of time cooking, I did purchase a new stove, and I am really liking it. It's a Frigidaire. It's, I, what I did is I bought something that was less computerized, and that's one of the biggest tips that I got. And then also, I bought a new dishwasher. Already paid cash for them, so I don't owe any money. That's the big thing that our family does is we stay debt free. I also have sinking funds so that if something comes up that I've got money to pay for something. For example, the foundation paid cash for that. I'm not in debt for it because I prepared ahead and set the money aside. So follow me down the hall and I'll show you into the bedroom. So as you can see, I've made a lot of improvements. One other thing is I like to keep stockpiles of the things we need, such as shampoo or body lotion, things like that. I also have toothpaste and toothbrushes in there. This way, I always have something so we're not having to run out to the store. Now, come into my bedroom and I just have one more thing. I love entertainment, but I don't spend a lot on entertainment. And if I want to laugh, I'll watch one of my favorite sh shows, I Love Lucy. These are always there for my enjoyment. And so we can watch a movie and relax and or spend some time laughing. Another thing that I've been doing is I have been wasting a lot less of everything. My big thing for frugality is utilize everything I have at home before purchasing. As you can see, this blush broke but I still have a little bit here. And so I can use all of that up. Also, you know, I do sometimes wear eyeshadow. This broke, but the eyeshadow underneath it's good. So I just use what I have instead of just throwing it away. So these are some other areas. One thing that I've really improved on in the last four year is less food waste. I make sure to use everything, and if I don't think I'm gonna use it, I donate it or I freeze it. And so I've been doing really well with that. One last thing I want to share with you in the bathroom, and then we'll call this B at the end of this video, is another thing that I do is I used to take long showers. Now I take two to five minute showers, and that saves a lot of money on water. So there's always ways to save. I do want to leave you guys with this. We're not here to compare ourselves with others, because remember, comparison is the death of joy. Just do you and do little manageable steps along the way. I know that many of you are way more frugal than me, but I'm not here to compare myself to you. I'm here to compare myself to how I'm doing now. And my main thing is, as long as I keep improving day by day, that's all that matters. And the good news is, is I do have money in the bank and we're just taking small manageable steps to keep improving ourselves along the way. So that's all I have to say. I just have one question. If you could share one of your most frugal tips that saved you and your family a lot of money, I'd love for you to share it in the comments below because many of the viewers come back and read those valuable comments. That's all for now. I want to say happy four year anniversary to me and to all of you loyal subscribers and all of you new viewers. I love you, I appreciate you, and like I always say, I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.